Hey, what's going on? I have another video for truckers and truckers only. You might find some benefit, but this is for truckers. I have been doing a little research and I've come across many truckers who live in their cab, who don't have a house, who don't have an apartment. If you're gone for literally three to four weeks, it makes sense. But I want you to think about this. What if you had a way to buy a house or a condo and make money while you're on the road. Once again, in an effort to help truckers because there's a lot of scam artists out here, here's a valuable, well, a viable and surefire way to make money with real estate while you're on the road. Stay tuned for that. And if this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is get money through entrepreneurship. We make it, we stack it, we protect it, and we get into a little legal stuff. Stay tuned for more. I have a new email list and I'm doing something different. So if you want more information about this stuff, be sure to go below and get on that list. I was watching the video and this young man, he's saving a lot of money. I think he's saving like 1200 bucks a week. And I think he's a company driver because he doesn't have any bills, no car payments or nothing. So to this young guy and to other folks who are like him, these are some things you should do while you have a job. Also, for my independent operators, owner operators, if you got three years, four years tax returns, you should be good to go unless you depreciate everything in it, and that could be a problem. But you want to get a house or a condo in a hot part of town. Uh, something else I've seen, maybe this is a trucker thing, where people will buy land and build a house. That's great, but do this first, and I'm going to explain why. If you go ahead, and let's say you're on the road five, ten years, and each year you acquire property, that's a lot of money. You could literally be in your truck making money anywhere, where, anywhere in the United States, and I'm going to explain how. How many of you have heard of Airbnb? Airbnb is one of the greatest things to ever happen. I know quite a few people who have Airbnb rentals, and a lot of these folks don't even own the house or the condo. They've worked out some kind of agreement. What you want to do is get a nice property. You don't want any of this ghetto stuff. You don't want any low-income stuff. You want middle market to upscale properties in a very good part of town, a hot part of town, uh, a town that's like uh, a part of town that's located next to venues, theaters, uh, sporting arenas, things like that. Whatever you can get. You want the best, the worst house in the best neighborhood. Once again, you want the worst house in the best neighborhood. In location, location, location. Now, why do you want to do Airbnb? Great question. Let's say you have a house and then your mortgage is 1500 bucks per month. Well, with Airbnb, you can literally rent out your house for half the month and make three times what your mortgage is. Because let's go back to the gentleman who's saving a lot of money and kudos to you for saving money instead of blowing it. But you, you have what's called dead money. You're saving it, but it's not making you any money. And I understand there's a lot of craziness out here, so I understand why you're holding on to it. But if you could get a house and your let's say let's say your fixed expenses, mortgage, interest, insurance, it's uh two thousand a month, so it's twenty four thousand a year. Say that house makes you 100K a year in rental income through Airbnb. You've made three times your mortgage plus, guess what? Because now you own a property, you can now take additional deductions off of your earned income from trucking. More money, more money, more money. Now, what you don't want to do is to blend your real estate with your trucking business. You want two separate companies. You want to create a holding company for your real estate and an operating company for your real estate. A holding company and an operating company and you keep a firewall between your trucking and your real estate business and this is why. Let's say you put everything in the same company, right? And your truck gets in an accident. Then some smart attorney goes and starts looking around it's like, oh, Mr. Trucker has like $1.8 million in assets. They're coming after you. There are many people who do things 
and they don't get sued because they have no money to collect. It doesn't make any sense to sue a rock. You're not getting anything. But if you have assets, they will come after you. So you want to have a firewall. You want to have your holding company, your operating company, and everything totally separate. And yes, this will require you to file two. You will not file just one general ink tax form. And you don't want to. You want these to be two distinct, separate entities. You don't want anything to be anywhere. And, you know, we'll get into that later. This is how you can make a gang of money. Now, first of all, you got to do some research. You know your city. You And also, once again, you're a trucker. You're all over the country. Um, and I'm going to get into this because I've been watching a lot of trucking videos and there seems to be this reluctance to do hard jobs. And I'm going to say something that's going to be very controversial. Take the garbage routes. Now, why do I say this? Everyone hates these garbage routes, right? If you take the garbage routes, you're going to learn stuff that most people don't know about. Let's say you have a garbage route that runs into a very nice, wealthy neighborhood and you see all kinds of deals because you're there every week or however often you're there. It's this industry, this discrete knowledge that you have that can give you an advantage. So take it. And also, this will help you learn the trucking industry even better because I've seen all kinds of stuff and there's, there's clearly some truckers with a employee mindset, nothing wrong with that, and there are some truckers with that business mindset, and you can tell the difference by these guys' videos. Uh, I would say if I was driving a truck, I would work for a company no more two to three years just to get you know some accreditation, just to have a safety net while I learn the business, but minimum two years working for a company, maybe three, and I saw this stuff about not getting your authority and getting your authority. Here's my take on getting your authority. If you are going to run one truck, you could just do that as an LLC. But if you want to have a fleet of trucks, I think it would be in your best interest to have an authority to bring in the economies of scale. Because if you have five trucks, you're going to get a discount on your insurance. If you have five trucks, you can work out some kind of deal. So that's how I see it. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. This is one of the ways that you can make a gang of money. Now, this is something that I'm going to do, but it's going to be a little different. I'm going to acquire my first property probably August or between August and October. Of, and this is why. And also, you have a lot of time to do research because the market's crashing. I don't think it's going to be what happened in 2008. But the market is definitely crashing. Prices are being lower. And I feel that I'm going to be able to get a deal. Let's say, not a screaming deal, who knows. But let's say the house I buy was like 500 k But due to the meltdown of real estate, I can get it for 420 That house is going to go back up to 500 k at some point. It may be two, three years, it may be 10 years. But it's going up. But I don't really care about that because I know... What I can do with a property, and I'll talk about this a little later, is trick it out because uh, there's a lot of Airbnb properties. They're garbage. They're just garbage. I'm like, I'm not staying there because I've stayed at Airbnb things, and I'm more of the upscale type, and I am willing to pay 350 to 600 bucks a night for the kind of place I want to stay in. Now, this group is small but this group always has money because in the recession the top 10 percent will still be caking they'll still have money they'll still take vacations they still don't do what they want to do uh, maybe the top 20 percent will maybe let's say top 10 percent will do what they want to do the top 25 percent they'll make adjustments but they're still going to take vacations they're still going to do certain things and but because it's a recession, you're going to be able to do more with less because everything's going to be on sale. Uh, my plan is to acquire property, pay cash, and trick it out. Not do the bare basics, not to do this. I want it to look, yeah, this is my bedroom. This is what I'm going to do to a rental property. Because if you want upscale clients, you got to have an upscale look. So this is what I'm going to do to this house. Uh, the price points are going to be 300 to 500k. I am not going towards uh, the lower end market 
because I've actually done that. I've done real estate before, and I, I had the Section 8. And I, I don't want to deal with that. I just don't want to deal with that. So knowing what I know about Airbnb, let's say I get in at 420 1800 a month, I can make 6 to 10K by doing what I plan on doing. 6 to 10K. And since I'm going to pay cash, until I make that, I don't pay any taxes on that money until I have recouped my original investment. So I can park some money here and I can make some money every month that's tax free. Oh, wait, you get to take real estate deductions, which are going to prolong that period so it's going to be a point where I'm going to be making money I'm not going to be paying taxes and because I can do these write downs this will bleed over into Mac Daddy Media and I will be able to because I got two companies I have, actually I have three I have Cameron <laughs> Cameron Strode that's the holding company Mac Daddy Media that's the operating company and I started a new what I'm telling you I started a new uh, LLC, which is a holding company for the real estate because I want to keep everything separate. Get with a CPA and make sure that everything is lined up, your T's and everything is crossed because you can use one business to offset or have the losses in that business carry them forward to offset your income. So this is a way for you to make some money because the thing is, let's say, because you got to talk to the CPA about this because your situation is probably going to be very different from mine. The way it's going to work for me is I can pull money out of Mac Daddy Media, put it over here in real estate, and I will have to pay taxes on the earned income, but I can grow wealth through the real estate and not pay taxes on it for a long, long time. A long time. That's a way to park money, still make money, and keep it moving. So if you have any suggestions or anything, put them in the comments. And also, uh, I've already been hit up about a few people. I don't talk to people for free. I, I can't do it. I just, I'm, it's hard enough for me keeping up with my paid client. So you can, don't, well, you can send a question. If it's simple, I may give you a one word answer, but we're not going to get into a conversation. I just don't have the time for it. Um, I will put together some stuff for you guys once I start doing it. Because right now, everything is just theory. But this is my plan, and my goal is to buy a property every quarter and park that money over there because that means on this side, I'm going to have to pay a gang of taxes, which I've crunched the numbers. It makes sense because what this is going to make down the road is insane. And once I get to 15, maybe 20 properties, I'm going to look at multifamily, and I'm going to tell you why. A house is a house. If you have certain people, they want to live in a the house. They don't want to live in an apartment. I mean, multifamily can make a lot of money, but I looked at what made me move out of my apartment many years ago, and it was because when I first moved in, the management was on point. They were amazing. I mean, there was like these Russian guys picking up trash. It was spotless. Management changed. Service fell off. A lot of people moved out, but if you get a really good rental property situation, uh, upscale Airbnb or long-term rental, and you have a really nice property, you're just going to acquire better tenants, and you're going to acquire long-term tenants, which means you're going to have people paying you a lot of money, and you virtually don't do anything except if you know uh, if a washer or something breaks, or you know you got to fix some stuff. Just take the first year of profits, put it into an account, and anytime something breaks, just go have someone handle it. That's my plan, and I'll talk about it a little bit more. Uh, but once again, I will put something together for you guys. And if you're at a position, and let me define this, if you're like a rookie, you just got started out, uh, I don't really think I'm going to have anything for you. Uh, but if you're ambitious, you know, the Fat Cat Secrets, I will start making that available again. You can kind of get into that because it's going to take you time to build your holding company. And it's going to take you time to set up your operating company, your checking accounts, and all this other stuff. And you guys have some very unique needs because if you're driving a truck, your home of record could be Florida, 
which I hear has very high insurance, or Texas, or one of these states that has no state tax. That's six to twelve. That's six to thirteen percent on your money right there. That's sick. So you got a lot of options as a trucker. All right. So let me know what your feedback. Put it below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is a swing. If he catch you hanging over here Cause you see start gang is over here We spacing over here We don't worry about no earthlings Cause we aliens over here Got me like ain't never met a woman Do me like that now So we get on face with the movies that sway Long run hair and the money quite fast Shawty all about a dollar when she moving that stack Stage just celebrating all them savings over here Can't explain exaggerating all the ways You make me feel your gravitation over here. While gang they hatin' over here Stop Don't play no favorites over here Put both your legs behind your ass Sexy ladies over here Need my favorite over here Bring some Asians over here Might make some babies over here Fancy cars, pretty girls Travel all around the world Burning guards, rolling pearls Sippin', drinkin' till they twirl Girl, it's crazy over here the Matrix over here Can't save her over here We might just change it, girl Oh yeah, we getting faded over here We made it over here We keep designer on our body Girl, we made you over here Just tell your friends to put their purses on this table over here And I bet your pain will disappear When I put those ankles to your ears Like this, like that